And I have to say that this hike is gonna rank up there as one of the more unique and pretty cool hikes that we have done. Well, welcome to our next van life adventure, and we are so excited for this one. We are gonna be spending the next day and a half or so exploring the White Sand Dunes National Park here in New Mexico. We're a little bit nervous. We've been told that this time of the year, the wind can be notoriously strong, can just cause a lot of dust storms and make for a not so pleasant experience. So we're not too sure what we're gonna find when we get there. We started yesterday evening driving our way from Albuquerque towards the park, but today we're gonna to do a small detour through Roswell, New Mexico. We thought it'd be fun to check out that town, before we finish the drive down into the parks. We're excited to show you what we're getting up to on this adventure. So let's go see another slice of God's beautiful creation. Let's get going. I have to say that Roswell has definitely embraced their UFO and alien theme. It was a fun drive through to see a different slice of Americana on our way to the national park. Well, we made it into the national park and here's the plan. You know, like most of our visits to a national park, we're gonna start at the visitor center. We'll talk to a park ranger, we'll watch the, uh, the park film, really just get a lay of the land. And really the plan then for the next day or so is just to hit some of the trails, try to do some photography and really just take in the beauty of the dunes. Tonight, we're actually doing a ranger led walk. It's called like a sunset stroll. It's right around sunset. So we're excited to check that out, see what more we can learn about the park. But I'm just looking forward to showing you guys what we get up to here at the White Sand Dunes National Park. So let's go check it out. Our first stop was the Dune Life Nature Trail. This is a short little loop trail that we thought would give us a nice introduction to the park and to the dunes. We finished the day with that ranger-led walk, the sunset stroll. We just love doing these types of things in the national parks. The ranger did a great job of just giving us a lot of history of the park, the geology, the wildlife. Tilly even got to come along and she really enjoyed it too. Lucky to finish the day boondocking right outside of the park next to a lake. Boondocking is basically parking on public land and sleeping there for free. This was a beautiful spot. Well, we made it into the park this morning. It's just after 7 a.m. and we're gonna be tackling the Alkali Trail. It's about a four and a half mile loop. It goes up and down over the dunes. Uh, some is 60 feet high. So it's gonna be a little bit of a workout and we're just hoping to uh, get this done before it gets too hot this morning. So let's go check it out. So you might be asking yourself, what makes these sand dunes so white and so unique? Well, this is actually the largest gypsum sand dune area in the world. Gypsum is the same material that you'll find in drywall and it is very white. 
It actually begins as rock crystals, but eventually erodes down and becomes these small grains of sand. And the sand becomes so soft, it's almost as if it's like talcum powder. You know, over the past year or so, we've done some pretty amazing hikes. We've hiked on glaciers, we've done ocean trails, we've hiked in the mountains. And I have to say that this hike is gonna rank up there as one of the more unique and pretty cool hikes that we have done. We thoroughly enjoyed it. It took us just over three hours, ended up being about five miles, but man, what a spectacular scenic hike. I hope you're gonna enjoy some of the photography that I'm gonna show you here. Given we decided not to take Tilly on the hike this morning, I took her on a short lunchtime walk around the boardwalk trail. Well, a pretty crazy thing happened today. So shortly after that little walk with Tilly on the boardwalk, went back into the van and about literally five minutes later, Lavinia and I were sitting in the van and we hear this crazy boom. We actually thought something hit the van. It kind of, the whole van shook. We go outside and there's this massive column of black smoke. Well, what happened was an F-16 jet plane crashed. White Sands National Park is actually right next to an Air Force base and we're not sure the details, but the jet did crash and it was only probably about a mile or two from where we were parked. There was only one pilot in the plane and he ejected and parachuted and actually landed only about 200 yards from our van. I was actually able to watch the helicopter come down and pick him up. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of this on video, uh, but it was quite the experience, quite the memory. And the parking lot that we were parked in basically turned into the command center. Within just a few minutes, literally the place was just buzzing with police vehicles, people from the Air Force, people from the state police, Border Patrol was even there. It was crazy. Um, we obviously got kicked out of the parking lot. We spent the rest of the afternoon just kind of hanging out. I did some editing of my videos and we thought we'd be able to get back down into the park uh, to do some sunset photography, but they've actually closed the road. Uh, it seems like they're pretty much shutting things down for the, uh, the recovery and the investigation of the crash. So pretty crazy. Changes our plans a little bit, but that's okay. We are, we pretty much got to do and see everything that we wanted to do other than maybe just taking in one more sunset tonight. But I just have to say, you know, we really enjoyed this park. It is so unique. We loved that hike this morning. It was just a really incredible hike. Uh, just so beautiful. We pretty much had the whole hike to ourselves. We absolutely loved it. This is just another national park that's going to go down. It's just a really good memory for us. Stay tuned for next week though. We're going to be heading now down to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. So I'm excited to show you what we can get up to there. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you on the road next time and may God bless you.